We're testing the Spear Gold Dot 40 caliber 165 grain. This is the middleweight of the 40 caliber Gold Dot offerings. They also offer this in the 155 and 180 grain variety. Pretty good balance of weight, velocity, and energy. Advertised muzzle velocity of 1,150 feet per second. My five-shot average is just a little bit less, 1,137 feet per second. Now, technically, this is a Glock 32, 357 SIG, but with the barrel conversion, I can quickly make this a 40. So that's our test gun, 4-inch barrel. I previously tested this way back in December of 2009 using wet pack and denim. And that load in that test penetrated 22 inches. That is somewhat excessive. Don't expect that today. We're using the calibrated SimTest Media, but again, with four layers of denim, testing from 10 feet. No 22 inch penetration today. It is somewhere inside of the 20 inch block. I cut right down the middle of the perceived bullet path because obviously I can't really see it through this media. I did a really good job right up to the very end of it. This is the right side of the track. We'll take a quick look at that first. Entry here. Expansion begins about uh, half an inch to three quarters of an inch in. And this is one of the best stretch cavities I have seen in a 40 caliber load in this media. This is at least half an inch wide here, nearly 0.7 inches wide at its widest point. It's over a quarter of an inch deep, very nasty looking, and it runs for over five inches. Then the bullet settles down. We're getting up to about the nine inch mark here. Then I have to move up to the other half. Obviously that is pretty much the same. Very nasty looking. We blew some denim in there. You can see where the pedals are cutting into that media. Moving on. This is at the 10, 11 inch mark, 12, still going. How far are we gonna go? 14 and 5 eighths inches, the leading edge right here, 14.625. There are just a couple of threads of denim in that cavity, but no real big plug of denim. And it looks like we had some pretty good expansion. There's one of the marks, but the average diameter is 0.638 inches. After giving it a good rinsing, the retained weight is coming in at 165.6 grains. By the way, recoil of this compared to the 180 Gold Dot, this for me, the 165, is snappier as opposed to the push, I feel, if you can say there's a difference between those. Some people might say it's actually the opposite for them. In any event, it is snappier, but it is easy for me to control. As far as ballistic performance in this test, wow, we had a tremendous stretch cavity there. Again, that's one of the best I've seen in 40 caliber testing and one of the best I've seen overall, now that I think about it, in the major service calibers. Penetration was great without over penetrating. We had really good uniform expansion. This is a bonded bullet, so you're not going to have that uh, concern about the jacket separation and so forth. This was very, very good, I thought, as far as the testing. So all I ask is don't go and buy all of it. Leave some for me. Thanks for watching.